welcome back. So to come, I'm going to be talking to Melinda Messenger and Mr Selfridge's Ellen Love, that's actress Zoe Tapper, is going to be right here too. First though, my next guest is starred in Spooks. He played Don French's husband in The Vicar of Dibley, I love that, and King of the Dwarfs in The Hobbit. We're going to be talking to actor Richard Armitage in just a moment. First though, here he is in action. <laughs> Work, Scout! Which means an orc pack is not far behind. Orc pack? Who did you tell about your quest beyond your kin? No one. Who did you tell? No one, I swear. What in Dora's name is going on? You are being hunted. Richard Armitage is here now. I loved The Hobbit. <laughs> it was great fun. You were really, really grumpy in that, though. I mean, if that was Snow White and the Dwarfs, you would be grumpy. <laughs> yeah, he is <laughs> a bit of a grump, isn't he? He is a grump. In a good way, though. In a good way. Yeah. He comes round in the end. We, did, we tried to make him, we tried to soften him up a bit and give him a sense of humour, but it, it's not really there in the book. He is, he is pretty cantankerous in that he book. Is. He is. He is. And was there a lot of time in makeup for the that's thing. about um it's about two and a half hours so ah. an hour and a half for the face and then half an hour for the for the hair but i grew my own beard so that, that took less time yeah exactly and a lot of um armor you know a lot of how much did that weigh all of that um we we weighed ourselves um after after a rain scene and i think i had 25 kilos jimmy nesbitt had 30 kilos and he's Thank he's you. kind of got a smaller frame so yeah heavy that's real. That's pretty intense. So that is why. Now, when you said that you go to dwarf boot camp, what yeah. does that mean? Well, and entail? It was originally a three-week training period. It turned right. into eight weeks because um, Peter Jackson fell ill. But it was really beneficial for us because we got more time to to learn how to walk, to interact with each other, yeah. to fight. And we literally had these enormous boots that we had to um, that we had to walk in because they were like clown boots because. Dwarf, dwarf's feet are, are much bigger than... Of course they are, <laughs> absolutely, we knew that. And heads and hands as well. And, yeah, they are, that's the thing, you have to, as you know. <laughs> to do that. And so I, I guess that was a great time for you all to bond as well, um, you because know, as a unit, you know, all, all of the, the dwarves together. Yeah, and we, d we did a lot of improvisation, which was like um, we'd, we'd go out into the field and behave like a military uh, group um, right. where we sort of found our hierarchy, which was really useful. Oh, it's really good. It's, it's, like I said, it's a fantastic movie. You must have spent a long time time in New Zealand which is no hardship yeah we were there for 18 months in wow. total and we go back um, this year for another 10 weeks of shooting which I'm really looking forward to oh that'd be brilliant because of course it was all ever going to be it was supposed to be two movies wasn't it yes. but, but you had so much material yeah that and, it's going to be three yes it is and, and I think it's because you know because of the format that he's shooting it in the high frame rate and the yeah. 3d he didn't want to put it onto an extended dvd so um, he wanted everyone to go see it in the cinema, which is great. And all of the characters that come into the second film, like Bayon and the Elf King, yes. are so exciting. Oh, it's brilliant. It's really, it, it really is. And New Zealand, I'll tell you what, that movie, the, the whole, you know, The Hobbit and, of course, Lord of the Rings beforehand, you just want to go to New Zealand. I'm desperate to go to New Zealand. I've never been and it looks so beautiful. Yeah, it was interesting seeing the film as well because trying to work out what was real and what was, was computer generated. <laughs> in that clip that you showed, um, we, we did shoot that on location, but we did a pickup in the studio against the green screen and you right. can't tell which is which, I, I think, in, in that. It's in really that clever. It's really, must be odd, though, when you're kind of acting and there's all these animals and beasties and things going on and they're not really there in real true life and they'll be added at afterwards. Yeah, they, they can't, that, that wolf was, a, was sort of a big stuffed... Um, uh, green toy so did you not get the giggles you, do, you, you start hammering away at, at, a, at a bean bag and, and it's uh, it's hard not to laugh and that is no bean bag that was a scary thing yeah Oh, it's brilliant. Really good fun. And next, you're going to be doing something about tornadoes. Or have you done it or what's happened? Um, yeah, we shot that last year and I've, I've done some extra footage uh, in the beginning of this year. It's a, it's a tornado movie um, called Black Sky. Right, so um, it's more action? It's, it's, yeah, it's Is an it? action-based piece. But we did a lot of um, uh, wire work uh, on location and dropping cars from, from buildings. So Ooh. it was uh, pretty dangerous stuff. It's good, though. It's completely different from what you were doing. Completely which different, is, Which yeah. is what you want and to And I do. get to be myself and not five foot two. Exactly, because everybody, you know that Alan Jones, he's so cheeky. He, thought was he, tiny. he said, is he really small? Is that why he was cast? I'm like, no. I did nice. ask the same question to Peter, though. When, when, when I first met him, I was like, I'm a, I'm a six foot two guy. Why do you want me to play a dwarf? So, uh, but it's amazing what they could do with Jiggy It's Pokemon. amazing. And Ian McKellen is really, really huge. He's massive. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And you two got on very well, didn't you? Yeah. He's, he's a bit, he's, you know how everybody thinks, oh, he's Ian McKellen, we have to curtsy and all that. He's a scream. He's he really is. funny. He's, he's very naughty. He's got a great sense of humour and he keeps the set very 
very buoyant, so uh, it was a real honour and privilege to work with them. It's that kind of thing, isn't it? People like that set the tone. They do, they, they do. They really do, and, and, when, and when they're in that sort of position, in that, they do. Yeah, and he, he commands such respect, and he's, he's part of the, the family from Lord of the Rings, but, yeah. um, but his humour is, is to be... To be experienced. Yes. He's right now shooting a sitcom <laughs> with Derek Jacobi, and it was supposed to be called Vicious Old Queens. Right, it's now just called Vicious. <laughs> and, he, and when they told him it was Vicious Old Queens, he said, "I'm not old." <laughs> <laughs> That's very fantastic. Yeah. They're shooting that right now because sometimes in the morning we see them. It's really funny. Are they shooting in London? Yeah, 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 in this very place. So it's, it's very, very good. At least you'll be seeing them I, again when I you will. go back. I will, when you yes. go back to New Zealand. Yes. I mean, it's a long, long way to go, but uh, it's well worth it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Very much so. Now, I loved you in Spooks. That was great. And also, though, the Vicar of Dibley. Oh, I knew you were going to bring that up. No, but the Vicar of Dibley was lo I loved the Vicar of Dibley. It was just, an, and that was, you were perfect together. Oh. It just worked. Yeah, they never they never burnt the set. I, I think I think they they always lived in hope of of uh, wheeling out that relationship again. Which uh, yeah. Do you know what that would be really good? Like it maybe sweet, for a sort it? of special. You know, I know comic relief's just just coming up, but maybe the next comic relief or or Christmas. You know, we could see because see what they're like. I always imagine you know, Geraldine having loads of kids and it being sort of chaotic. <laughs> yeah, it would, and that would yes, be really good, yes, wouldn't it? It would be very sweet. It'd be nice to see Dawn again as well. It would. <clears throat> you two, obviously, again. You know, you got on incredibly yes, well, which yes. is which is really good for you as well. Now, you know, you've done this massive, massive blockbuster. They don't get any bigger than that. I mean, it must be amazing to do. And um, you've got the the movie. Is it? Black Black Sky, Black, Sky, Black yeah. Sky, which will be coming out. Any sort of hankering to do, maybe go back on stage or do something completely different? Yeah, I mean, it's. Um, I, I've, I've spent a lot of time doing TV here, so so the the um, the desire to get on stage is is strong with me, and and uh, some classical theatre would be nice to yeah. go back to. So I don't know, maybe some Chekhov or something. Mm -hmm. Fingers okay. crossed. I'll tell you what, when, when um, they knew you were coming in, Twitter went crazy. Oh, really? Absolutely crazy. And they, they really did. So you've obviously got a massive fan base out there, which is really good. And they all just wanted... There's people actually not going to their work this morning. Because they're tw Twittering. Because <laughs> you're Tweeting. on. Because <laughs> you're on. <coughs> it's so lovely to see you. Thank you. You too. Thank you for and having me. And come back and see us when Black Sky is out. I will. And enjoy New Zealand. <laughs> My goodness me. Thank you very much, Richard. Right, still to come between now and 9.25. Will she get her review?